So the WON Awards, which is like the Dave Meltzer Awards there, has... <laughs> Uh, the, which is uh, the Observer Newsletter Awards, pardon me, has been revealed. The Raw has won first place for the worst weekly wrestling show of 2022. Coming in second... It's WWE NXT coming in third is NWA Power. Coming in fourth is AEW Rampage. And coming in fifth is Women of Wrestling. First of all, I don't even, you know, know who watches Women of Wrestling. Now, NWA Power, I'm going to be a bias too. I like NWA Power. That's you know I like NWA. We're not going to talk about them, but for AEW Rampage to be fourth in a better position than WWE Monday Night Raw, people, <laughs> WWE Raw is one of the main flagship show. Okay, now. Look, my opinion, it's a three-hour show. Sometimes you have hits. Sometimes you have misses. But you have storyline co continuity. Where it's a constant story going on, right? Uh, from one week to another. Long-term storytelling. That's recently what's been happening. AEW Rampage. Um... One, you know, it, it it's one week to an one week to one week to one week to one week, meaning it's all just a bunch of matches with nine times out of ten no storytelling. It's just these random matches, guys that you don't see, and that's their problem, guys that you don't see for many of weeks all of a sudden appear on AEW Rampage and then they disappear. For no rhyme, no reason. There's no continuity. And the ratings show it for AEW Rampage. They show it. So, the criteria, obviously, is a little skewed, and I know it. It's all a matter of, you know, there's a certain demographic, certain type of wrestling fan that subscribes to Observer Newsletter. But Monday Night Raw... Uh, is not the worst wrestling show. Um, yeah, I would argue AEW Rampage. It's you know, it's like a WCW Thunder from back in the day. It is what it is. You don't get too revved up, too excited about uh, these type of awards, one way or another. Just thought it was a little silly.